There are millions out there, they don't even have the basic necessities, leave alone education. If you are grateful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you more. Allah says He has given you everything that you ask for. If you want to count the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will not be able to count them. So Allah has given us so much. The first thing every one of us today before we stand up, we need to create that mentality in our minds that we have to have the ability to express gratitude. Like alhamdulillah, shuk. That we say Allah for you is all praises, for you is all gratitude because you have given us Iman, you have given us Islam, you have made us from the followers, the Ummati of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You have given us health, you have given us wealth, you have given us the ability to send our children to Baytul Aim to study the knowledge. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Khayrukum man ta'allam al Quran wa allama. The best amongst you. There can be no one better than these children. They might be doing a degree university in the university, they might be doing other, they might be in a position as a president or prime minister or a king or a queen or any other high position. But the Prophet is in Khairukum. You are the best. Who's the best? Those who learn the Quran and teaches the Quran. So the teachers and the students. Are you understanding students? You are so lucky and Allah has chosen you to study this thing. What does the hadith say? The person whom Allah intends goodness for, Allah gives him the understanding of deen. That tells you and me that Allah has intended, He has chosen goodness for us. So this itself, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahimahullah ta'ala, he says, from this hadith, I am so happy and overjoyed, I know Allah is happy with me. Allahu Akbar. This itself is a great, great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is very important that we keep that in mind. So that's why we need to appreciate. We need to keep on sending our children to the Islamic schools, help, assist, contribute, whichever way. Because if we are going to be neglectful, if we are going to be completely taking a back seat, being complacent, it's not going to work. So it's very important that when we get a blessing, we need to do the qadr, we need to express our gratitude, we need to value the importance and the significance of that blessing.